Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going show a side-by-side -side comparison of Autopilot versus the BMW Driving Assistant Professional. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and ring the bell, it really helps. On the left we have a BMW 8 Series with the BMW system. The top picture shows a close-up of the dash. On the BMW, this is also duplicated in a head-up display. On the right we have the Tesla Autopilot. The first challenge is a two-way road in the UK. The BMW system is turned on from the steering wheel. It initially shows the speed limit in white, when the system can also drive the steering wheel turns yellow. You can also see the car position on the virtual road. At the bottom you can see the speed limit with a tick next to it. More on this later. The Tesla system uses blue to show it's active. There is a blue steering wheel in the top right plus the max speed with max written in blue beneath. This is in addition to the speed limit sign. The virtual road is also edged in blue. The two cars are being driven on the same roads. This road does not have a clear white line on the left-hand side, yet both cars seem to cope with the road perfectly well. At higher speeds, the Tesla system does not seem to stable from the driver's seat and moves from side to side in the lane. They both also adjust their speed when coming up behind slower cars. Both cars show the type of vehicle they are following. Only Tesla show the cars coming towards it. Both systems can take tight bends, although we suggest neither should be relied upon. The BMW also warns in advance of upcoming bends. The Tesla system does not communicate at all about what is ahead. In some lighting conditions, the Tesla system does not engage. The BMW system does not seem to suffer with this problem to the same extent. We will do another video covering nighttime driving and in the rain. To keep the videos in sync, we have made some edits. We're now approaching a lower speed limit. The BMW shows this speed limit above the speed limit sign and provides a distance countdown. It tells the driver it is adapting to the new speed limit. The Tesla simply changes speed limit as you cross the threshold. On this road type, both cars drop their speed. As the higher speed limit approaches, the BMW again signals the change in limit and counts the driver down. Both cars adapt to the higher speed limit. First partial fail, the BMW puts up the steering warning over a crest, disengages, and then picks up again after about 5 seconds. The Tesla handles it. We're now approaching a traffic island or roundabout. The same pattern emerges, the BMW provides advanced notification and counts the driver down. It is hard to tell if the Tesla is aware. Both cars slow, although this is also due to the traffic.
The roundabout really needs to be driven manually. We're now on to a dual carriageway, sometimes called a divided carriageway. This road has two lanes in each direction. The Tesla system had to be manually re-engaged. The BMW system had automatically engaged. Again, everything as you'd expect and the cars travel through the first set of traffic lights fine. The BMW system does have traffic light recognition in some countries. Like the other notifications, the driver will be made aware on the approach. Now we're approaching the second set of traffic lights. How the Tesla did not disengage is a mystery. The car was not happy going through the lights and then bounced from side to side in its lane. Another set of lights with fairly poor road markings in both cars work fine this time, the Tesla even coping with the car in front turning off. Next up, we have another speed limit change. This time, it looks like a temporary change to 40. The BMW knows about it early and signals to the driver. The BMW also slows the car to the new speed limit by the time the car enters the zone. The Tesla has seen the lower speed, but has not adapted to it at all, leaving the autopilot speed limit set to 60. This is 20 miles per hour above the speed limit. Luckily, the car's speed is being limited by the car in front. Our final stretch of driving is on a UK motorway. This is the fastest type of road we have in the UK. cars follow the road without any incident. On motorways, the Tesla system does not report seeing speed limit changes, let alone adjust to them. The BMW system typically sees them and adjusts the speed accordingly. The main differences are linked to the lane change. Both cars have options regarding automated lane change. For the BMW, this depends on the age of the car and country, but where allowed, 
indicating will result in the car automatically changing to the adjacent lane. Tesla have this option with EAP and FSD. For the basic operation of both, the systems disengage when the indicator is used to signal a lane change. The primary difference is once established in lane, the BMW system will automatically re-engage. The BMW notifications and driver communication is much better than the Tesla's. It also manages to read speed limits and change the car's speed on the type of road these systems are mainly designed for. The Tesla does not and can leave you exceeding the speed limit, especially where variable or temporary speed limits are used. Both cars had one incident while making this video. The BMW incident slightly worse than the Tesla. Neither car phantom brake. Both cars have over-the-air software updates so improvements can be rolled out to the cars when available. While Tesla has more features and there are promising trials in the US, today we feel the BMW is the better driver assistance system.